Discount Alina Jolie. <laughs> What's up guys and welcome back to MK. My name is Damien and today we're looking through r slash roast me. Best friends ruin us. I mean, you ask and you shall receive because that's Mary Kate and Trashley. <laughs> Nah, <laughs> uh, nah, see, that implies one of them is at least decent. Perhaps Harry Taint is more applicable. I don't like that visage. <laughs> that, that, that visual I don't like. 14, trying too hard to look 18. Yucky. <laughs> That's yucky, my guy. She talks crap about you behind your back, I guarantee it. If Windows XP had a basic bra display option. <laughs> Trailer trash without the trailer. You know what that makes you? Just trash. You're the type of girls that guys bang and don't brag about. Are you a virgin? Yeah, I'm a virgin. Although there was once when I... <sighs> Never mind. Don't want to talk about Harry Taint and Trashly. <laughs> You're a combined seven. Hey, I mean, hey, you're above five. That's not bad. Which one's the four and which one's the three? That's what I want to know. You'll be best friends until the one on the right screws the one on the left's boyfriend. Ooh. <laughs> These cows have no udder. <laughs> hey, hey, Farmer Joe, these cows need to go back to the ranch. You got no udders. College girl and high school senior that decided to do long distance after a month of dating. One month in. Destroy us like plane tickets destroyed me. What are you holding, bro? What is that box? One's getting destroyed in her dorm, and the other is still trying to figure out what is second base. Ah, uh, no, see, he's a power bottom. Ah, uh, limp bottom, rather. Almost got paralyzed after falling three stories from a pipe and breaking two vertebrae. Jesus Christ! I'm gonna read that one more time, just so that we are, we're all on the same page here. Limp bottom, rather. Almost got paralyzed after falling three stories from a pipe and breaking two vertebrae. Why were you in that situation? <laughs> or that could be a possibility. <laughs> you came close to feeling what she feels in bed with you. <laughs> it looks like an open relationship, but only she knows that. You know it's a strong relationship when your first instinct after meeting is to get roasted instead of having sex. Uh, can't argue with that. Can't argue with much, limp boy. <laughs> She looks like the kind of girl that puts no hookups on her Tinder profile, but immediately tries to screw anyone she considers hot enough into falling in love with her. As for you, man, you're the safety at best. This threat is ripping you a new one. From the looks of it, this decision to try a long distance thing was more out of a lack of options on both your parts. They just weren't ready to throw away the magical journey that began on a hot night in a Walmart parking lot. Her freshman 15 is the number of dudes that railed her at a house party 10 minutes after sending a... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's great. Her freshman 15 is the number of dudes that railed her at a house party 10 minutes after sending you a love you, good night text. Must feel great to still be in high school at 23. Couldn't count the times I've banged a college girl only to hear her say, I hope my high school boyfriend doesn't find out. This one hurt the most. Sorry, Kyle. <laughs> Did it hurt more than falling from a three story building and landing on a bike? It's such, so outlandishly absurd and specific. I'm like, <laughs> you're holding her tampons and living in a different city. You've been stealth friend zoned, my dude. Whose house are you two hobos squatting in? No, her dad's lake house. You mean our dad's lake house? Headed to a friend's wedding and feeling super vulnerable because of it. Finish me. And whatever you say. Side note, I like the jewelry. <laughs> Leaked Shrek 5 footage has me disappointed on the new Fiona model. I hope you filled the gift envelope better than you <laughs> filled that Shrek. <laughs> I hope you filled the gift envelope better than you fill that dress. Okay, Jack Black, take off the female Snapchat filter. We already know it's you. <laughs> Come on, Jack. I can't tell what's the most lopsided. Your roast me sign, your cleavage in that dress, or your eyes that look like something Bob Ross painted after having a stroke. <laughs> Good lord. It's Tom again. Tom is a regular fiend on the roast me subreddit. <laughs> He's everywhere. This man lives, eats, and breathes r slash roast me. You look like a Cabbage Patch kid that came to life. This roast me is the most interesting thing you've done in your life. Sorry, might not be a roast, but it might be the picture, but it looks like you have a five o'clock shadow growing in your armpit. <laughs> it's my dress. Yeah, yeah, good cover. Good cover, Kim. Not the only pearl necklace you'll be wearing tonight. <laughs> Always the bridesmaid, never the bride. Even the preacher's gonna get a blow to the disco. Hey, yeah! Hey. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I'm awesome. <laughs> 
18, virgin, no job, no license, full-time gamer. Don't hold back. Whatever you say, Captain. You still cherish that moment a girl asked you if she could borrow your pencil in high school, don't you? Never got it back. In 18 more years, the only thing about this picture or description that'll be changed is the addition of a gross depression beard. Hey, look, it's Joe. Joe Mama. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> I love that guy's name. All you had to do was post the picture. We knew the rest. Hey, it's Emilio, too! <laughs> we got some regulars on the Roast Me subreddit. That's the only fan that'll ever blow you. Oh no, even the fan's not turned on. <laughs> Your eyebrows look like they're abandoning you as well. The only cheer you'll be popping anytime soon is that fat zit on your cheek. The distance in centimeters between your eyebrows converted into kilometers is how far you're legally allowed to be from your neighbor's kid. You're not a full-time gamer, you're a disappointment. <laughs> Beater of meat. Choker of chicken. <laughs> Master of his domain. <laughs> he is gamer. Are those trophies behind you given to you for reaching the friend zone? 23, Italian, spending my holidays with my parents because I have no friends. No forehead jokes for you. Them brows got it covered. <laughs> Each of your features is the most dominant feature of your face somehow. Discount Alina Jolie. <laughs> Looks like you kept your shaved off mustaches as eyebrows. This is my favorite so far. I'm gonna print it and put it in my room, LMAO. Damn, you weren't kidding about not having friends. I really wasn't. Just because you can be bought at an Olive Garden doesn't make you Italian. Focus less on makeup and more on those Oscar the Grouch eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> the couple that pays you for an online threesome doesn't count as parents. How ungrateful. After all your parents do for you, you make them spend their holidays with friendless loser? Hey, my girlfriend doesn't believe in your roasting abilities. Proof her wrong. Yeah, proof her wrong. If you cover the top half of a head, she looks 16. If you cover the bottom half, she looks 60. If you cover the entire thing, she looks better. She looks like what morning breath smells like. Ah, two nose rings to really prove you're the dominant lesbian. <laughs> She's going to require general anesthesia if she decides to get her hair brushed someday. Oh, good lord. <laughs> good lord. Looks like a photo of a pre-hygiene Victorian era wrench. Not wrench. Looks like a photo of a pre-hygiene Victorian era wench that dies at age 26 from hysteria. You misspelled syphilis. Not even surprised a little. Judging from the looks, she don't believe in showers either. <laughs> I bet she believes that essential oils can combat measles. Tell your girlfriend she looks like someone put a basset hound in a Marie Antoinette wig. My wife knows nothing about roast me. Immediately looks at this picture and says, what's up with her hair? <laughs> I get the feeling that if she did spook, I read ahead. I get the feeling that if she did splits, she would stick to the floor. <laughs> like a suction cup. 20 and I draw anime fan art for a living. I'm begging y'all to end my life. What's up with the tiny belt around your neck, ma'am? Uh, that collar? What do you got on? I'm not even, I'm just like, I'm genuinely intrigued by this. It's like, you know when you wear a belt and like some people don't tuck the strap in? It's the same style and I'm very curious about that. For a living, your parents have a really nice bathroom. Thanks, they worked hard for this house. Hey, at least they worked at all. If they only worked that hard on bringing up a child. If only they worked harder on contraception. What are you talking about? The face they gave you was a great contraception. Eh, true, dudes pull out just a on it. You have a bright future in Bukaki videos. It's nice of you to assume a guy can get off to my dead cold stare. That's why there's light switches and paper bags. Hey, there you go. When there's a will, there's a way. <laughs> I don't see why people are roasting. We should be supportive of rescued greyhounds, especially those that can poorly draw anime, like a monkey dancing for peanuts, only sadder. Drawing hentai for horny 12 year olds isn't a living. Actually, my main fan base is 14 to 16, so checkmate. Haha. <laughs> oh, frick. You already trying with that belt? Yeah, see, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> LMAO, amateur, obviously. This cheap choker is too flimsy. I've got the nylon rope in the back already. Hey, there you go. <laughs> I'm expecting her head to peel back and reveal the praying mantis waiting to eat the heads of men. God, that would honestly be so much better than my current subpar flesh vessel. Larger forehead, anime fan art. So what does virginity taste like? Like overcooked instant ramen at 3 a.m. I, I think I saw you in an ad once. It was something about cleaning the oceans from plastic. Yeah, that was you. <laughs> You look like an underinflated, overused sex doll. Overused? At this point, my coochie's collecting dust. Oh. <laughs> oh. Shame that choker wasn't fast and a few notches tighter. I I've really never seen a choker like that. It's why it's confusing me so much. It's gonna be in my mind for the next like three days. Okay. I've taken a deep breath, and you know what that means? It's time to read some more things. I have no self-esteem, I'm very scared, and I don't know why I'm doing this. That's me going into anything. Oh, I love your eyes. Wait, this is a roast me, I can't compliment you. <laughs> <laughs>
I have no self-esteem. I'm very scared and I don't know why I'm doing this. Anyone that has or will go out with you. You look like your favorite color is clear and a favorite spice is flour. <laughs> You filled me with feelings of doom when I played Zelda on the N64. Did you lose your precious again? It's funny because my dog's name is Frodo. Oh uh, yeah, I bet you let him burrow in your hobbit hole. God. You look like if Courtney Cox turned into a Walmart person. What does Tinder taste like? You look like an albino avatar. You look like someone who thinks that taking Molly while listening to Billie Eilish is a personality. These, you know, that's a hit and miss for me. <laughs> We'll see. We'll, 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 we'll see how I feel about that one. In a, in a minute, my dog stole my memes. We'll see how that one... <laughs> Maybe it's a slow burn roast. You look like an incest elf. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> <laughs> That's a roast. I mean, after you survive posting here, what's the worst anyone IRL could say? Maybe it'll be weirdly good for your self-confidence to be able to endure that. Oh, and I'm supposed to do this, so I just want to know how many selfies it took before you gave up and realized your face wasn't going to look any less vacant from any angle. <laughs> Three. I just realized her name is Hurt, but not surprised. <laughs> My friend thinks he's a stud. Knock him down a peg. Is that Daniel Radcliffe? <laughs> when the back hair and the neck beard merge, he's really gonna have to watch out for Sasquatch hunters. Your crow's feet have crow's feet. You're a douchebag, Harry. Yeah, see, that's what I thought. I thought it looked like Harry Potter. Your eyebrows make a better mustache than your actual mustache. <laughs> You look like a happy, unshaven ass. No, here we go. You look like the crackhead version of Daniel Radcliffe. See, that's what I'm telling you, dude. You wrote on your napkin. Now what are you going to use to clean up after you finish paying for the ride? Huh? That napkin is brighter than your future. Made this all on me own today. It took me four hours. Roast me back to ground level, please. Okay, but that's actually really dope. Whatever keeps you out of the playground. <laughs> Already, I love it. I love this subreddit so much. I bet your parents were so annoyed when you proudly trotted back upstairs with what they thought might keep you out of their living area for the day. Hey, look, it's a little dickless. <laughs> if lack of human interaction had a face, are we supposed to be impressed that it took you four hours to write that roast me sign? Yeah. 3D puzzles are about the only thing you're gonna erect in your life. This dude is a blouse away from being a hobo. This won't be the last paper he holds up asking for something. You look like the great value Bob Ross. Oh yeah, his parents' unhappy little accident. I bet when you finish the wine, you're gonna put on a Godzilla costume and rampage through the 3D puzzle town you built in your garage. Then put the puzzles back together again in your obviously abundant amount of spare time. Go away. No one wants a Saved by the Bell reunion. <laughs> And that brings us to the end of r slash roast me. And if you liked the video, leave a like down below and subscribe for more content from MK. And as always, I'll be seeing ya.